Hey everyone, welcome to another video of SyncPix. In today's video, I'll show you how we can create a new app in Frappe Bench. And this app can be used in any Frappe website or even for ERP Next. I'll be using this app to create custom modules and to create custom doc types in ERP Next. So stay tuned till end of this video to see how we can create a new app in ERP Next. So all my apps are already installed in the Ubuntu server 20.04. So if I take you to the bench directory and let me show you the list of content here. So CD space apps. So you can see these two apps, ERP Next and Frappe. So inside this, I need to create the app. So I'll be again going to my Frappe bench directory here, Frappe dash bench. And inside this, now I'll be creating the app. And in order to create the app, we'll be typing the command bench new app and then the app name it will ask for the title of the app so my default title is of course sync bricks because i already gave it in the beginning so i'll type it again just to show you and then app description so i'll be creating various utilities inside this so sync bricks utilities this will be the app i'll be using it for erp next mainly and then app publisher i'll give my name and then the email i can use uh, or i'll give a name app at syncbricks.com and then the default icon i will leave it default and then the app color i'll leave it default as gray and enter and here is the uh, default license uh, which is mit i'll name it sync all right sync bricks and enter and now it has created the app it is installing the app in the app directory now, if I show you this app has been created right now, and if I take you back to apps, and if I show you the apps, you can see here ERP Next, Frappe, and Simpix is created. So I'll see the content of this. So I'll be taking you to the Frappe bench, and inside bench, there is a folder called apps. And inside apps, this new app is created, which is Simpix. And by default, it will create all these files and folders, which are properly structured and uh, you can see here inside the SyncBricks app, these are the files and folders. So on the root, there is a file called manifest.in. This includes various files, which include like Python, SVG, TXT, and all of this here. Here you can add the license text. So whatever you want to add, you can add it here. So all the templates are stored in templates and all the page templates are stored in pages. So this way you have to structure your uh, files and folders uh, the way it has been automatically structured i'll be installing this app in my erp next so i'll be going again here cd space frappe bench bench and double dash site and then of course uh, the site name i'll be typing here erp.syncbricks.com and then i'll be installing the app install dash app and then syncbricks syncbricks is installed on my website so I'll be loading the site now on my browser. So I'll start bench now, which is of course in the development mode right now. All right, so site is ready to be launched now. So I'll be opening the site again, default user and password. And after a quick setup, now here you can see the site is loaded. And if I take you here to help, here you can see about and here SyncPix version 0.0.0, .0 master is already installed inside this app i can create various modules various various doc types various reports and so on so i'll be creating a new doc type here add a new doc type module i'll be choosing sync bricks and now inside this i'll be creating a new doc type called uh, employee help desk so this is the employee help desk that i need to create how to create doc type set up the fields and uh, how to uh, load the default values in the fields I have created a detailed video on creating the new doc type. I have provided the link in the description. Now, of course, this is based on the general understanding of how uh, a help test should work. Uh, so in help test, there are different uh, fields that you need to create. Of course, I'm creating now a new doc type, which will be the help topic and uh, the topic name I'll be giving here topic description. Now, if you see here, if I create a new help topic here, and this is the IT support, its description then ERP support its description and now I'll be linking this to the help desk as a help topic and linking the 
talk type here. Now you see here help topic is created then subject description required on and all of these fields are created now and then of course I want the attachment also to be added to the help desk and here I need to now uh, format it properly I'll be creating a new sorry this should have been a column break to divide the columns now this was a section break that I had to create so I'll be creating a section break and now you can see here a nicely designed form that will definitely be helpful to create the ticket and here you can see you can organize all the fields and all the sections here oh, that's some error is there okay users user yeah so now you can see the user can also be chosen here and I'll move the user here and of course user could be the read only field and it will load the default frappe user or the frappe session user also here is the naming series of course I have chosen the naming series and this is the way you can format the naming series I want the help dash year dash number of that so how many tickets we resolved during the year so these can be added here so now naming series is updated And after this, I'll make this read only field as naming series. It should be read only so that once the new ticket is created, so it will automatically fetch the number. You can see here now I can create the ticket. I'll enter the uh, email and then choose the help topic. And this is the field which I have just created, but it will be again automatically resolved and I save it. And now you can see here it has automatically assigned the ticket number based on the help year and the ticket number so first ticket in this year and then i can assign it to the person who has to resolve this ticket and enter the comment or for example please resolve and add another ticket has been assigned complete tracking can be done through this particular application and uh, you can see uh, you can add various attachments into this you can add the comments you can add it to multiple people and then of course you can uh, assign the workflow to, to this also because this is submittable document so in case you want to assign this uh, workflow you can do that also so this was just a basic app that i created and i thought it will be helpful for those who really want to uh, use this low code platform to customize various apps and customize various uh, doc types so hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with others hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more updates like this. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.